Hey, Laura J.E. Hamilton here, sitting outside in between my classes this morning where I teach children in China English. And it's just amazing to me because I woke up this morning and for two and a half years I've been writing a book. Many books, many, 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 many versions of this one book that I had never deemed good enough to actually let go, even though I did actually finish three of them in those two and a half years, just none of them were ever good enough. That was my story. And it's the universal story that so many of us share. Not tall enough, not smart enough, not fun enough, not pretty enough, not elegant enough, not enough. It's just we judge ourselves and others so harshly because they have let their mind become like a forest bed of weeds. And we have to be willing to actually get in there and take those weeds out at the roots. We have to realize that if we just trim trees by its branches, then those branches are going to grow back in time because ultimately the roots are still feeding the trunk that produces those branches and the leaves that make those branches look so beautiful. Those leaves that are so colorful and that can be painted in such a way that we say, wow, I want in on that. It's amazing. Well, we have to understand that leaves are generally green until they then go through a process of dying and then transform because it is when we actually go through struggle and adversity that we become more beautiful, that we become more authentic because we get cracked open. And what actually gets cracked is the image of who we think we need to be in order to be enough because we finally realize that we already were and we always will be and that enough is as good as a feast and therefore we can be fed on the nourishment of self-talk that supports and uplifts us instead of breaks us down and makes us feel so stressed out unnecessarily. It is time for us to just accept that we are able to just be ourselves when we say enough is as good as a feast. Enough is enough. That's where we must get and that is where we are all going. And we must realize that adversity and struggle and change and transition and transformation are natural parts of the hero's journey, which I call the sacred sojourn of the soul. Realizing we are soulful beings having a human experience, not the other way around. We are the ones that we have been waiting for, my friends. We are the ones with the warrior natures who forgot that we had so much power and are now given the opportunity to remember, and I hope you will. I hope you will take this opportunity today to say, Laura said, therefore I will too. Thank you. Gratitude is everything. Start your day that way. Be willing to be grateful for all of the things that broke you in order to break you open, to crack open your heart, to allow the light to truly flow out instead of it being all about the social expectations that have ruled our tribe's story until now, realizing that an individual is born into a family in order to get conditioned. And then that individual must leave the family's comfort zone of the known, which is home by our definition, in order to go out into the world and make something of ourselves and then return with stories and tales to share. Of course, heroes. I love great players of the game of life. I attract them, I seek them out, and I also encourage you to recognize you are one of them because you have found me and therefore you are likely looking for that same thing too. We love great players. You've invested this much of your time, energy, effort, attention, and money if you go to Patreon and choose to become one of my subscribers so that you're able to receive extra 
benefits of working with me and I've got a few different tiers to make more of what I have to share accessible and I would love to get on this journey with you I would love to actually connect about things that matter and I would most and certainly encourage you to realize that your life is the greatest video game that there ever has been and that there ever will be and that now is your chance to step into that. I hope that you will and I hope that you will choose to surround yourself with people who will encourage you when you doubt yourself because you will if you're like me. I did. I almost broke com down completely, wanted out altogether until finally then I realized, hey, you know what? In the scheme of things, my happiness is more important because I had a dad that reminded me that when I was so low, my job was just to be happy, just to get happy, just to get content with being happy, making that enough. Amazing. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Amazing. Just like you just like me. We are so freaking amazing, my friends. Why not? Just own it, embrace it, accept it, and then move into life like the powerhouse that we truly are. Send you massive amounts of love this day and every day. Laura J. Namaste. Fill light in me honors. Fill light in you. Thank you.